Microsoft has seriously tried to improve its free real-time threat detection tool called Windows Defender. At some point, I relied solely on this free service to safeguard my Windows PC from threats like malware, trojans, and viruses. But I later discovered that Microsoft Defender isn't the goose that lays the golden eggs. Its protection is basic and doesn't compare to most third-party security solutions. So if you're wondering whether or not Windows Defender can actually single-handedly protect your Windows device, the short answer is no. I tested Microsoft Defender and dozens of other antivirus softwares only to find that it lacks some critical features and also may have performance issues. So in today's video, we'll be reviewing Windows Defender's built-in protection capabilities and whether it's truly up to the task. We'll analyze its abilities to combat advanced malware, its efficiency in real-time threat detection, and how it fares when faced with zero-day attacks. Quickly, let's go through the scope of Windows Defender features before scrutinizing the full safety. Defender is a real-time virus and threat detection that automatically scans your system for malicious software, apps, and downloads. It then blocks and isolates potentially risky files that may harm your device. Because it's also cloud-based, Defender merges with Microsoft's extensive AI and machine learning to swiftly detect and neutralize new and emerging threats. These are also known as zero-day threats. Secondly, it offers firewall and network protection that monitors and controls data flow between your system and the network you are using. However, it does not encrypt the data as with a VPN, so hackers can easily obtain your personal information if they intercept the connection. Thirdly, Defender offers protection against phishing sites by warning and blocking access to known malicious websites. Next, this antivirus feature can regularly check system health and resolve potential vulnerabilities affecting your device's security and performance. If you turn on the app in browser control settings, Defender restricts or prevents malicious apps and websites from communicating with your device, mitigating some of those online dangers. Also, you can shield your children from inappropriate content through comprehensive parental control settings. But one of the best things about Defender is that it's absolutely free to use. You don't have to worry about periodic subscriptions like other antivirus services. All that I've talked about is on the good side. Now let's take a look at some of the big misses from Defender. Personally, I'm always relentless and daring on matters of PC security and online protection without bragging, of course. This time, I went into comparing Windows Defender alongside other antivirus softwares with trustworthy reputations. Here's what I did. I downloaded malware files, filling my basket with Trojans, ransomware, adware, and topping it all off with some keyloggers and rootkits. This was in an effort to scrutinize the disk scanning and real-time protection features. I also visited phishing sites from different browsers to see how Windows Defender performed versus the other antivirus softwares. The good news is that it quickly scanned and detected malware on the files that I was downloading to my system. The disappointment is that Defender's detection rate was comparably low. Norton found and quarantined significantly more threats than Defender could. This clearly indicates that you'll still need an effective antivirus solution if you're super cautious about protecting your device. Again, Microsoft Defender doesn't offer ransomware protection for Windows 8.1 and below. You're also advised to back up your data on the OneDrive cloud storage service in case of an attack. Take into account that ransomers only accept Bitcoin payments, so you'll need to be a crypto millionaire to survive this one. When I visited phishing sites to find out what my friends over there were up to, Windows Defender couldn't filter malicious content on some browsers. The threat detection features work well with Microsoft Edge, but it isn't reliable with other browsers like Chrome and Firefox. Also, Windows Defender doesn't offer the same level of control and customization as most other antivirus softwares. Since it's built in, you can only change a few basic settings here and there. When I generated a system health report, I didn't have options to optimize my system or deep scan individual folders. Most antivirus softwares provide you with options to customize your security settings and clean up old files. Defender also lacks many of the advanced features provided by specialized antivirus software, such as virtual private networks, also known as VPNs, password managers, identity theft protection, and dark web monitoring. You're probably wondering what alternatives are available if Windows Defender is so bad. My independent tests found Norton 360 to offer solid protection. Its malware threat detection score was far superior to Windows Defender and several other antivirus softwares that we tested. 
The anti-phishing feature also flags suspicious links and sites on all of the browsers that we tested. What I like most about Norton 360 is that it offers a suite of advanced features beyond the basic antivirus protection. These include a VPN to encrypt your data and network connection and a password manager to safely store credentials for your online accounts. A built-in feature called LifeLock also protects you from identity theft that may result in the loss of your financial or other crucial personal information. But if you're looking for a free alternative to Windows Defender, the Avira Internet Security is another great choice. It's effective at detecting, removing, and blocking malware, including ransomware. You also get other features like a VPN for secure browsing and a software updater to keep all of your programs current and up to date, and most importantly, safe. Avira can also identify risky applications hidden within legitimate software running on your device. You won't have to break the bank to get either of these antivirus solutions on your PC. Norton offers the most affordable annual plans. There's also a free trial and a 60-day money-back guarantee if you want to try it first before committing to this protection plan. Avira Premium is the more expensive one, but offers slightly more custom features. You can click the link below this video to get either Norton 360 or Avira Internet Security at discounted prices. You can also explore the most up-to-date offers and find a plan that perfectly suits your budget and your needs. And now for my final take on using Windows Defender as an antivirus solution. It's decent enough and can protect you from threats like viruses, malware, and phishing in the most basic form. But the protection just can't compare to what's offered by standalone antivirus softwares like Norton 360 and Avira. Plus, Defender's security features are pretty limited. So more complex threats can easily infiltrate your system and network and do some serious damage without even being detected. Other robust antivirus softwares provide better dedicated protection than Windows Defender because it integrates more features and functionalities to better protect your system and network. They are also frequently updated to recognize and block new kinds of threats emerging every single day. Unlike Windows Defender, which works effectively on Windows 10 and 11, third-party antivirus softwares can also provide strong protection for even older versions of Windows. You don't need advanced knowledge of manual configurations because most antivirus softwares have fully optimized settings as well. All right, that's it from me in today's video. Let us know what you think of Windows Defender down in the comment section below and how you feel it compares to other dedicated antivirus software. Remember to hit the like button if you did get value out of this video and subscribe to our channel for future content on all things cybersecurity. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video.